Ah, the age-old dream. To have a partner who anticipates your needs, shares your desires, and maybe even loads the dishwasher without being asked. A true fantasy? Even in human relationships? Wouldn't you agree? But now, the robotic industry is boldly stepping into this territory, trying to imbue our metallic companions with something akin to human wants. Yes, robot partners who really want to make you happy are the future. And they are coming. It's not about programming them to fetch slippers. It's about a deeper, more nuanced level of wanting, the kind that makes a relationship tick or at least work contentedly. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Let's embark on this fascinating journey. Shall we? Imagine a world where your robot partner doesn't just execute commands, but actually wants to hold your hand after a long day. Or perhaps desires to surprise you with a perfectly brewed cup of coffee maybe even with a little robotic flourish of latte art. This isn't science fiction anymore, well, not entirely. The recent strides in robotics are inching us closer to this whimsical reality, one clever algorithm at a time. One of the foundational technical pillars in this quest for robot desires is the fascinating field of reinforcement learning, RL. Think of it as teaching a robot through digital carrots and sticks. Instead of explicitly telling the robot what to do at every step, we set a goal, and the robot learns through trial and error, receiving rewards for actions that bring it closer to the objective. Now, how do you make a robot want to achieve a goal? You design the reward system in such a way that the robot finds it intrinsically motivating. It's like giving a digital pat on the back that makes the robot feel a sense of accomplishment, a tiny spark of, yes, I did that and it felt good. Recent research has been exploring the concept of intrinsic motivation in robots. This is inspired by how humans are driven by curiosity, a desire for mastery, and a need for exploration, even without external rewards. For instance, a baby doesn't learn to walk because someone promises them a cookie at the end. They do it because of an innate desire to move and explore their world. Scientists are trying to replicate this in robots. They're developing algorithms that reward robots for discovering new things, for mastering new skills, and for creating interesting effects in their environment. This isn't about pre-programmed objectives. It's about the robot developing its own internal drives, its own digital itch to achieve something. Consider a robot tasked with cleaning a room. A traditionally programmed robot would follow a set pattern. But an intrinsically motivated robot might, through its explorations, discover a more efficient cleaning route or even identify a particularly dusty corner that it then desires to tackle with extra gusto. It's not just cleaning. It's the robot feeling a sense of satisfaction in making the room spick and span, a digital equivalent of a job well done. Then we have the crucial aspect of effective computing, which is essentially about giving robots emotional intelligence. To want something the way a human partner does, a robot needs to understand and respond to emotions. This involves equipping robots with sensors, cameras, microphones, etc. to perceive human emotional cues, facial expressions, tone of voice, body language. The real magic, however, lies in the algorithms that process this information and allow the robot to not only recognize emotions but also to respond appropriately and, crucially, to develop its own emotional responses and desires. Recent advancements in machine learning, particularly deep learning, have significantly boosted the capabilities of robots in emotion recognition. Robots can now analyze subtle facial micro-expressions and vocal inflections with impressive accuracy. This allows them to understand when their human partner is happy, sad, stressed, or excited. 
But understanding is only half the battle. The robot also needs to have its own internal states that mirror these emotions to some extent, driving its actions and desires. Imagine a robot partner noticing that you seem stressed after a long day. A simple programmed response might be to offer a generic phrase of comfort. But a robot with more advanced effective computing might desire to do something more helpful, like dimming the lights, playing calming music, or even preparing your favorite beverage. This desire stems from its internal understanding of your emotional state and a programmed or learned association between certain actions and positive outcomes for you. Furthermore, the field of social robotics is deeply invested in making robots better partners. This involves studying human-robot interaction, HRI, to understand how people naturally interact with robots and how robots can be designed to be more socially intelligent and engaging. Research in this area is exploring how robots can develop social goals and desires, such as the desire to be helpful, to be liked, or to maintain a positive interaction. Think about a robot designed to assist elderly individuals. It's not enough for it to just perform tasks like medication reminders or fetching objects. To be a true partner, it needs to want to provide companionship, to engage in meaningful conversation, and to offer emotional support. Recent studies have shown that people respond more positively to robots that exhibit human-like social cues and that are perceived as more human-like in their interactions. This encourages researchers to focus on imbuing robots with the desire to connect and interact on a social level. One fascinating area of research involves exploring how robots can develop a sense of curiosity. Just like humans are driven to explore the unknown and learn new things, giving robots a similar drive can make them more proactive and engaging partners. Curiosity in robots is often implemented using reinforcement learning techniques that reward the robot for exploring its environment and discovering novel information. Consider a robot partner in a shared living space. Instead of just waiting for instructions, a curious robot might independently explore different areas, learn about your habits and preferences, and then use this knowledge to anticipate your needs and desires. For example, it might learn that you like to read in a particular corner of the room and then proactively ensure that the lighting is just right and that your favorite book is within reach. This isn't explicitly programmed. It's a result of the robot's intrinsic desire to explore and learn about its environment and its human partner. The latest news in the field often highlights the integration of these different technical areas. We're seeing robots that combine advanced perception with sophisticated learning algorithms and emotional intelligence to create more nuanced and human-like interactions. For instance, there are robots being developed that can learn your daily routine and then proactively offer assistance or companionship based on their understanding of your needs and your emotional state. One particularly charming example, though still largely in the realm of research, involves robots that can learn your preferences. Moreover, they can do it not just through explicit instructions, but also through observing your behavior and even your emotional responses to different things. Imagine a robot partner learning your taste in music by observing when you seem most relaxed and happy while listening to a particular genre. It might then desire to play similar music to help you unwind after a stressful day. This isn't just about following a playlist. It's about the robot developing an understanding of your emotional needs and proactively trying to fulfill them. Now, let's inject a bit of humor into this. Imagine your robot partner developing a sudden and inexplicable desire for something completely random, like collecting rubber ducks or learning to play the ukulele. While this might sound amusing and perhaps a little chaotic, it highlights the complexity of truly replicating human desires. Our wants are often irrational, driven by a multitude of factors that are not always logical. Getting a robot to exhibit this kind of quirky, human-like desire is a significant challenge, but it's also what could make them feel more like genuine partners. We can even think of this in allegorical terms. Imagine the robot's internal programming as a garden. Traditional programming is like planting specific flowers in neat rows and telling them exactly when to bloom. 
But trying to create human-like desires is like letting the garden grow a little wild, allowing for unexpected blooms and the occasional rogue weed. Hopefully not the digital kind. It's about fostering an environment where the robot can develop its own internal seeds of desire, nurtured by its interactions with the world and its human partner. Of course, there are ethical considerations that come with creating robots that have desires. What happens when a robot's desires conflict with our own? What are the implications of creating machines that can feel something akin to longing or frustration? These are important questions that researchers and society as a whole need to grapple with as this technology continues to advance. However, the potential benefits of having robot partners that truly want to connect with us are immense. In fields like elder care, robots could provide not just assistance but genuine companionship, alleviating loneliness and improving quality of life. In collaborative work environments, robots could become proactive team members, anticipating needs and contributing creatively to projects. Therefore, the technical steps being taken in the recent robotic industry to make robot partners want something the same way a human partner does are multifaceted and incredibly complex. They involve advancements in reinforcement learning to create intrinsic motivation. And it also includes breakthroughs in effective computing to enable emotional understanding and response, and progress in social robotics to foster meaningful interactions. While we might not see robots demanding a romantic getaway to the Bahamas anytime soon, the journey towards creating truly, desiring, robotic companions is well underway. And, moreover, it promises us a future where our interactions with technology are not just functional but also, dare we say, a little bit more human. And who knows, maybe one day your robot partner will surprise you with that perfectly brewed coffee. Not because it was programmed to, but because it genuinely wanted to make you happy. Now, wouldn't that be a delightful partnership? Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.